Time will never run all out of sin Even when mankind ran out of plans It's alright What's meant to be will be But it's a long dusty road To walk in shiny shoes with no souls With no souls With no souls what they said was, this one was bad in the first place, and you finally improved yourself. You've bettered yourself. You've perfected not sounding like your mama. You've perfected not sounding like your daddy. The less you sound like your own people, the better you off you are. I've had people tell me, say, I can't believe Harvard done got you up there teaching them people to talk like slaves. <laughs> Fred, ain't nobody want to hear that thing, man. I ain't probably quite keep like no slave. Mm. So in your mind, you find more pride and dignity in sounding like the half of the equation that had a choice in slavery. The one who could have opted out. That's the half of the equation you want to sound like. You feel more pride in sounding like the enslaver than the enslaved done. And so that's where it's hidden in academia. All the slick little languages we use and phrases that we use, that mean, even in, in, in patois, there's a slight backhanded quality to the word patois, because there's an inference that it's inferior. English is basically like the magpie of languages. It steals from everything. English take a little bit of this, from, ooh, yeah, mm, yeah, let me get that, you know, local, oh, I'm gonna take local, deja vu, all right, let me have that. <laughs> You know, to the point when somebody says, oh, man, I'm having a case of deja vu. <sighs> Nobody thinks of it as a French word. We've just normalized these words as, as English. So tell me how come English get to be a, a, a language that derived, we always derive from something, <laughs> that derived from other languages. <clears throat> yeah. Romance Latin, Germanic languages. But nobody, when was the last time you heard anybody speak of English as a derivative of, of any kind of, in the context of a romance language? Hmm. But we got to be Creole. Always something to signify that you ain't pure. You a combination of something and something else. Well, if y'all a combination of something, something else, French and that, all these, you know, I find Arabic in this language and. Portuguese got a little bit, everybody <laughs> borrowing from each other, everybody derived from something. How come you got to come up with a term for me that me and I separate from the rest of y'all if y'all separate from each other? Hmm. If I say, um, this guitar yam is a piano. Now, of course, there's a piano right, a piano right there in the hallway. Y'all know this ain't no piano. But if I say it's a piano, we all agree it's a piano. Somebody walked through that door and I said, hey, who, who, who guitar that is? Well, man, you can't see that's a piano. <laughs> we've, ex we've created a new norm. We've created a new reality. This, it is now a piano because we say so. <laughs> Give yourself permission to use your voice. The problem isn't in, in with academia. It's not that there's something wrong with learning a system of speech. There's nothing wrong with learning so-called standard English. It's the standard part. That's what's wrong. The idea that this is the default, and there are times when I may be talking to you and sound this way, and somebody will come in here and say, oh, you, you saying that wrong. You're saying, you need to correct the way that you just say that. 
But all I said was, you need to correct the way that you just said that. That's better. It's the exact same sentence. Fundamentally, structurally, grammatically, it's the exact same sentence. You're no longer correcting my grammar. You're correcting my culture. And so there's a way you can, act, you can teach, teach your own. We don't have to just rely on hearing it. We don't have to just rely on, oh, well, that's the way my mama talks, so I just imitate the way my mama talks. No, someone can tell you the same information. Hey, this is, this is the, the, the breakdown of your language. These are how we use you know, verbs and adverbs, and these are this. You know, break it down in, in a structured way so that they can then, in a learned way, pass it on. Give them a defense. Give that little boy, Bahamian boy, <laughs> and Bahamian girl, the ability to defend themselves when they are called stupid. Give them some information to work with. We do not have to have a rift between the higher educated and the lesser educated people most of that is not driven by intelligence. It's driven by attitude. But um, this is called Beast of Burning Rose. And essentially, it's about my upbringing. It makes me feel home. And as I said, that sense of conflict that I once had about how I came to know what I know and coming to resolve with that and not laboring on that aspect of it, but just doing something with um, the blessing that you used to with the blessing of my life. Time will never run all out of sin Even when mankind ran out of plans It's alright What's meant to be will be It's a long and dusty road to walk in shiny shoes with no souls, with no souls, with no souls. She then she done found a better man. I said she's just found another man. It's alright. Was meant to be, will be. It's a long and lonely road when your heart's a heavy load, heavy load, heavy load. Beast of burden, yes, I'm a beast of burden blues. Who beast of burden? He's on my beast of burden blues. It's a long and dusty road to walk in shiny shoes with no souls, with no souls. And it's a long and lonely road when your heart's a heavy load, heavy load, yeah. Heavy load. Beast of burden. Some my beast of burden blues. He's on my bees to burn and blues. Thank you. And now it's time to ask you, I'm not going to hold you. I'm going to go ahead and relinquish the microphone. <laughs>